it's that time where we have to flip the bitch. Ah, good day everyone and welcome to today's DIY video here with Joey in his kitchen trying to do something that might not work, but if it does, I'll be really shocked and happy and then you'll see a smile on my face. Okay, so today we're making a uh, rainbow grilled cheese. I know, who would have thought you could mix rainbow with grilled cheese, not I. Um, so it's actually really simple. The only things you'll need are bread, cheese, food coloring, butter, and mixing bowls and a stove, I guess. Uh, but I'm actually using a vegan cheese. This is made out of almonds, uh, which you guys know that I believe the cheese is the devil. Um, I've never really liked cheese, so choosing a vegan cheese isn't like a huge deal to me at all. And it's also nice for the cows if you don't use regular cheese. And then I'm just using coconut butter and gluten-free bread just because gluten kind of irritates my stomach. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, let's get on with the DIY. <laughs> okay, so first thing I'm going to do, oh, it's no gluten in this either. Um, gluten kind of like irritates my stomach, so I stay hard. Oh my god, I'm gonna explode this almond cheese everywhere. How do I open this? Where's the open button? All right, I'm actually really curious how this tastes without the food coloring. Ooh, it feels like regular cheese. Honestly, it tastes like che <laughs> cheese. That's really bizarre. Okay. Who would have thought almonds could make trees? Not I. So, I'm gonna pour some of this string cheese into, uh, oh, there's some like almond flakes in here. Oh my gosh. Into the mixing bowl. So I have five colors. I'm gonna do red, yellow, green, blue, and purple to make the rainbow. I find this so weird. How is this made? Honestly, that's probably more than enough cheese. Um, and then all you do is just add the food coloring. So let's get these mixing bowls. We'll just add, I don't even know how much to each. Oh, this red hasn't even opened, wow. So I have to tell you a disturbing story that happened with me and grilled cheese. Um, we have a dark past. So I haven't had grilled cheese in about probably 15 years of my life. Or even more actually, probably. Yeah. So basically what happened was I asked my mom to make me a grilled cheese and my mom has this long blonde hair. I get the grilled cheese. And this grilled cheese is different because it's extra crunchy, if you know what I mean. So I'm just like, hmm, this is interesting. Extra crispy grilled cheese. I'm just gonna still continue eating it. Taking more bites, it's even crunchier and a bit stringy. And I'm curious, I'm like, oh, weird. Like, what is this weird texture to my grilled cheese? Find out, I look down and I see thin wisps of blonde hair in my grilled cheese that got singed by the stove. Nice and crunchy. Had a nice little crunch. And that um, was enough to scar me from ever having grilled cheese again. And if any of you guys have ever had hair in your grilled cheese, you know the horrors. Even though it was my mother's hair, it still haunts me to this day. Honestly, I don't know how I made through. Um, okay, so I think my nail is definitely going to be dyed by this guy because I touched the red. Um, so I think that's a good enough mixing job. The cheese is pretty red. That should be good. Gorgeous, wonderful. Let's move on to the next colors. So this one was a gel on, and now these are just the drops, so this should be interesting to see what the difference will be. Again, it looks like orange. We'll see if it actually is. Oh, yep, it is kind of a bit more. Oh, it is orange! The first time that the yellow food coloring is actually orange. But you know what, that's fine because I don't have an orange, so we'll just make it a yellow orange. Alrighty, so as you can see, I have finished putting all the food coloring into the almond cheese, which was really easy, so I didn't really need to explain all the colors. Uh, so next, you just take your bread. Um, these are the biggest slices in the bunch, so I hope that these work fine. <laughs> There's a lot of cheese and a little bit of bread. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with 
the red. I guess we only need one side right now. This is so little. I really was not expecting that. Okay, so we're gonna just sprinkle it on the top with the red first, and then work our way down. It's like a little baby sandwich. If you do the same and you have gluten-free, just make two. That's all you gotta do. So I'm just gonna do a quick speed through on the close-up of what I'm doing down here, and then we can head on over to the grill. Okay? Okay. are on this piece of bread. Gorgeously rainbow-rhythmic. Next step is you have to butter up the outside of the bread. Um, so I'm gonna take some of this coconut butter and then I'll probably put it like that. So let me butter up this side of the house. Just smooth on, on there. Um, and the butter is just gonna make it super toasty on the outside, which will give that grilled cheese-ness. What you gotta do, what you gotta do, slap that butter on that bread. So I'm gonna put it on top, cover up. I hope that this works because there's a lot of freaking cheese in here. It's thick, thick to the brim, as you can see. Thick them. I'm just gonna plop this on the griddle in the back and then I'll probably butter the other side while it's on the griddle just because I don't know how I'm gonna do it otherwise. So let's head on over to the griddle and grill. All right, and we got the rainbow grilled cheese ready to go on Mr. Grill. Mr. Grill, are you ready for Mr. Grilled Cheese? Say hello. Um, so I have to kind of like flip this, don't I? Yeah, I do. Crap, okay. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, I'm nervous. Plop on. Oh, it plopped on us and good luck. All right, so we're gonna just push that in on there. Um, let that baby soak on in. Now I have to put butter on the top, quick. Here, we'll just use lady spatula to help us. Oh gosh, that's a lot of butter. Here, just spread that on nice and good like. Oh, you like that, Mr. Rainbow Sandwich? Yes, I do. It's nice. Getting a little toasty in here, isn't it? I have a confession to make. This is actually the first grilled cheese I've ever made in my life. Since that traumatic experience with my mom's hair and the grilled cheese, I never brought it upon myself to make one, so I think I'm doing it right. All right, guys, it's that time where we have to flip the beach. And by beach, I mean the thing. Come on. Uh-oh, how do I get underneath there? All right, ready? One, two, three, flipper. Oh, look at that crispy goddess. Wow, she is grilled. She's a grilled cheese if I've ever seen a grilled cheese. Alrighty, so we're back from the stove and it's time to see how it all turned out. I'm hoping that when I like cut it and I pull it apart, it will have a gorgeous rainbow look. So let's try it, shall we? Oh, oh, it's smooth, smoothie, smoothie day. Okay, I'm gonna like squish it together so it congeals again. because I want that pull apart look. Oh my gorgeous. Are you guys ready? Oh my gosh, can you see? Can you see? Oh, we need a close-up of this. Oh, wait, we need to congeal a little bit more. All right, everybody. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm not getting that full effect. It's not sticking together completely, but you need, wait, we need a close-up over here of this. One second. Wow. Oh my, oh my. Wow, look at that. It's a rainbow grilled cheese day. Oh my gosh, guys, this turned out way better than I thought it was going to. It's super rainbow ripping, but now it's time for the taste test. Now, I'm hoping that I didn't get any of my blue hairs in this this time. Uh, if I did, I probably won't see it, but let's just test this out. Oh my, mm, mm, mm. Oh, this is good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, mm. It's been a while since I've had one of these, and I, I'm so glad I waited 
I definitely think the coconut butter definitely made a difference. This tastes like real freaking cheese, guys. Who needs real cheese when you have almond cheese and it tastes exactly the same? This is crazy. Um, well, I hope you guys try this out. Uh, if you do, send me pictures on Twitter. And uh, also give this video a thumbs up if you want more rainbow DIYs. And uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. I love you all so much. I will see you next time. Woo damn. Bye. No. No. I'm not from YouTube. Okay, and do some show that's called Escape the Night. Yes. Breast way higher. Oh, Adele, you're doing better than breast. Congratulations.